Let's discuss both sides of Ed Catmull's story. <laughs> What's up guys, Blood Moon Bobby here, and today we're going to be talking about one of the co-founders of Pixar, Ed Catmull, and that is because he is retiring. He is retiring from his position of being president of both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios. He will be the stepping down at the end of the year and will stay on as an advisor through July 2019. Now I will say before I started doing the research for this video, I didn't know too much about Ed Ed Catmull, I knew he was one of the co-founders of Pixar along with Steve Jobs and the now estranged John Lasseter. And I didn't know much about him, but I looked him up and he actually had quite a few accomplishments throughout his career, you know, even outside of being at Disney and Pixar. So I'll start off, he earned a doctorate in computer technology from the University of Utah. By the way, keep in mind for this part of the video, I'm gonna be looking at my iPad quite a bit because there is quite a bit to talk about. In 1972, he and technical partner Fred Park created one of the first CGI short films known as the Computer Animated Hand, which is a short film basically detailing how they made a CG version of a hand as well as human face and other body parts. You guys can check it out on Vimeo. I'll have a link to that video in the description. And in 1979, he was hired by George Lucas to lead Lucasfilm's computer division. And Catnell actually founded three centers for computer graphics research, including the Computer Graphics Lab at the New York Institute of Technology, the graphics group in the computer division at Lucasfilm, and of course, as we know, Pixar. And Cartoon Bruce said that many of the fundamentals of computer animation were formed at these three centers, including image compositing, motion blur, and texture mapping. And of course, whereas Pixar was, we know, really successful animation in company, which <laughs> just saying that yeah, it kind of undersells Pixar. Like it's easily a, one of the top computer animation studios in the world, famous for really great childhood movies like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., and Finding Nemo. In 2006, Ix Catmull was named the president of both Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation. And, you know, Oh, 2006 onwards were basically some really great years for Walt Disney Feature Animation. You know, for that time, we got movies like Tangled, Frozen, Wreck-It Ralph. Pixar also had its successes with movies like Up, Toy Story 3. They had some bumps in the road, like with Brave, Ave, but then they came back with great movies like Incredibles 2, which I saw a few months ago. I actually really really liked i thought was much much better paced than the original incredibles and i actually have a quote here from cat mull speaking about his retirement and he says quote from the request of george lucas to bring technology to the film industry to the vision of steve jobs and the extraordinary freedom provided by a Disney executive is Bob Iger, Alan Horn, and Alan Bergman. We continue to dream of stories and ways of making those stories that always surprise. I have the mixed emotions that come with stepping away from a group of people I love, but also with the utmost pride and pleasure that we now have at both Pixar and Disney Animation, the most dedicated and imaginative leaders I have worked with. Disney hasn't named the successor for Catmull just yet, but they did say that Pixar president Jim Morris and Walt Disney Animation Studios president Andrew Milstein will oversee operations at the respective studios and creatively they will still be overseen by their chief creative officers, Pete Docter at Pixar, and Jennifer Lee at Walt Disney Animation Studios. So I would definitely say Ed Catmull is leaving. I would say Ed Catmull retiring. He definitely had a successful career, definitely a pioneer in the animation industry with certain technologies that his companies created. I would even say that we wouldn't have computer animation as we know it today. You know, he was working in the days of computer animation in his infancy, and by the time we got to, and by the time of his retirement and his last years of working at Pixar and at, or in Walt Disney Animation, you know, CG movies have now become vogue. And and as much as like I'm also one of those people that are like I really wish CG and traditional animated films can coexist, they definitely brought together some really great movies in that time. You know, as I said, the Toy Story movies, Finding Nemo, Coco, Incredibles 2, 
which since Dia de los Muertos is coming up, I highly recommend you guys check out Coco. But that being said, I will acknowledge that Catmull definitely had some bruises in his career, some really notable ones, particularly he, going back to what I was saying about John Lasseter, who I talked about probably about a year ago when I was when he was accused of of harassment and unwanted hugs. Cartoon Bruce said that Catmull was fully aware of what or of what Lasseter was doing and he just didn't really do anything until he was let go. And Cartoon Brew goes into how Pixar in particular is the workplace environment is kind of like a fraternity and just you could make the argument that Catmull is a really successful artist and computer technician but not exactly the best example of like management. And I, I could tell you as somebody who's worked in really in a really crazy workplace, I know that the workplace environment is really, is really, really paramount. You know, it, it drives you crazy when you see when the workplace environment is, isn't all that friendly. And, and even though it's really great that Disney is coming out with moral, with some really moral movies like Coco, Moana, or Frozen, you know, coming out with really moral products is one thing, but do you practice what you preach? And in my opinion, and it, it's just as, if not as important for the workplace to reflect the values that these companies instill on us. Because when it's not, it just feels like company PR that's used just to make customers like your company but if you don't really practice it yourself then you're not being as honest so I'm I don't want to like make this video to shit on Catmull and I don't want to make this video just blindly saying oh well Catmull was successful also I could just gloss over his flaws because you know we are human beings we make mistakes and in the case of Catmull it's not like you could just easily say oh well oh he was practically flawless because yeah he could have if these, if the Cartoon Brew article is accurate, and I'm, I'm leaning towards it, it likely is. I think he could have done a much better job of managing the workplace, because, as, because as I said, a workplace environment can really get to you, because it's almost like, like the workplace becomes your second home. As much as animation is really fun to work about, it is also important for you know the people around you to be friendly, and that there's not. At scary people like Lasseter are walking around. You know, Lasseter is definitely a legend in his own right, but yeah, his harassment and accusations are, are something you can just easily ignore. But I will say as an entire career as a whole, like if you count Catmull's time in, in and out of Disney, I would say he definitely had a very successful career and he was a pioneer in the computer anime, in computer animation, you know, well, in his time, computer animation went from um, being this super niche, I would even go as far as to say unknown form that, because, you know, in the 70s, I don't even think people thought of the idea of computers being used for animation and special effects. So we're going from those really early days to now computer animation is such a large part of the movie industry and in some ways is too much of it. So... I'm just really giving you guys a really like explosive kind of a feeling. And now that Catmull is leaving, I would say that Disney is in good hands. Hopefully either the new management they get, because I'm pretty sure they are going to hire a replacement for Catmull, just like they hired replacements for or Lassiter at some point. Hopefully the new leader that comes on will lead a much better workplace for a Disney animation in Pixar. I guess you could say Disney and Pixar's movies are kind of in a weird spot right now, even though they're still really good with movies like Incredibles 2 and Moana. You could argue they're in a bit of a sequel slump with Pixar coming out with movies like Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4, and then Disney's got Frozen 2 and Ralph Breaks the Internet, the latter of which comes out next month. So you could argue that I'm still looking forward to those movies because they do come from really good properties and much of the people that made their predecessors great are also working on those movies. So I still think that we have a lot to look forward to with Disney. They're not like going into a dark age again. And hopefully whoever they get to be the president, as well as as their current chief creative officers, Pete Docter, 
and Jennifer Lee, who are filmmakers themselves, will also make better products and will make a better workplace in the future. So my hat's off to you, Ed Catmull. You definitely had have a legendary career in the animation industry and brought so many amazing things that make computer animation what it is today, which also, which also made for some really amazing movies like Coco, Incredibles 2, and the Toy Story films. I just wish you took a bit more initiative or a lot more initiative when you were the president of Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios. So, all right, guys, please let me know your thoughts down below. I know whenever I talk about higher ups at these companies, you guys have a lot to say about them. So please leave me your thoughts below. And keep in mind that in making this video, I'm not making this to either shit on Catmull or blindly cheer for him. I'm just telling it like it is. So leave all your thoughts down below. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments or you can also email me. My email address is in the description. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later. Hey guys, be sure to like this Blood Moon Bobby video if you enjoyed it. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Be sure to ring the notification bell to be notified about my latest upload. Follow me on my social media pages at Blood Moon Bobby to find out about what I'll be covering next and for more of my opinions. Thanks for watching.